Douglas is some bull. It's bull. Take the next right onto Chicken Valley it's Road. It's not even the right person. It's doing the bullshit too. Oh my God, you would. What's good? All right, listen. See, he thought she had her, um, what's called, I deleted all her social media. No, she didn't. Continue on Chicken Valley Road for one and a half miles. But she did not contact him back because his bad breath. Now, I, we, we not like talk, talking about just like regular, normal, bad breath. Just like I ate a, like I, I, I ate an onion and it was just like bad. Or I had some type of food that had like a lot of spices, you know, it was thick, coated and heavy and shit like that. No, we're talking about this man does not brush his teeth. He thinks it's a conspiracy. He thinks toothpaste and mouthwash is a conspiracy. Talking about this is not natural. You don't use it. Okay, well, technically, my ancestors, they actually used to do what's called in Africa. They, they used tree roots and mm, what's called. That the um, thing is called like licorice or licorice, so I wanted it to teeth amazingly white and healthy and clean. But they still brush their damn teeth. Okay, we're talking about he don't even he don't even like put some water on toothbrush and brush his teeth. We talk about he don't even introduce his mouth to a toothbrush. He's like, I'm so happy I I get to speak and get this moment to speak about the conspiracy theory of toothpaste and mouthwash how dare you like you know there's some people that's like naturalists out there but they like what's called they use charcoal or, or in a quarter or, mile no, merge onto oyster bay they road do something at least to brush your teeth i do something to at least brush my teeth and i'm pretty sure there's a lot more people that at least do something to brush their teeth especially when you're trying to swap spit with someone else okay what probably didn't help was that he said all it is after they were intimate okay after they done went all the way and then like when her when her eyes was like watering and she's practically crying from the back continue on oyster feet, bay road for one mile he actually um go ahead and enlighten her uh i don't want to say go ahead and let her know but graciously enlighten her that he doesn't brush his teeth I am pretty, 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 absolutely certain sure that she got so gross and disgusted after she found out that this man has been kissing me in the mouth. We swapped fluid, and he didn't brush that out of his mouth. You can even gargle with just regular water, some, some water and salt. You, you can do that too. You, you could have got some 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 watered down vinegar and like went down. But so basically, my old fluids that went into your mouth is still sitting in your mouth, and you're still swapping that with me. No, 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 no. Oh goodness! Oh gosh! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. No, honey, no. And she's like, you sound like a complete psycho and crazy lunatic and you need to be admitted no offense though your mouth probably does need to be admitted because people actually can get severely ill unfortunately people have died from bad dental hygiene here's the reason why we have dentists okay some dentists mm, okay i don't particularly like the dentist because i had to get braces and my mouth wasn't large enough okay it looks large but I just got big lips. My mouth is actually small, extremely small, okay? It's not able to hold all of my teeth. So, like, we're supposed to have, like, 32 teeth, right? Okay, I had to get, like, nine pulled, okay? And this is technically nine adult teeth. At the time when I started getting braces, I had three baby teeth still there, okay? So they actually had to pull those baby teeth let the adult teeth grow in to remove those as well like i'm not joking i had braces for like almost five years and um this and then i had to get them tightening over and over again which really damaged my teeth and it didn't help um that i kind of grew um a vitamin deficiency so some foods would actually deteriorate my teeth because 
my body couldn't process the vitamins. So I was going through pure hell. So I don't, if I'm going through pure hell and I still brush my damn teeth, you got no excuse, okay? You need to brush your teeth. There's nothing wrong with your mouth other than you not wanting to take care of it, okay? This is, this is, this is, you, you deserve that blow. I'm, 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 I'm letting you know this one right now. You, <laughs> you lucky all she did was just block you and kind of dead the relationship as quickly as possible. And mind he tried to deflect it and make it seem like she had a, a, a person on his side or he was a side piece. No, fool. You brought this upon yourself and then you made it worse by, like, making what's called you, you gotta you gotta love how people that that actually f up and then they bring that per the other person to the table you know that knows about the mistake that they just done did and in and, and some type of way trying to make it seem like they did something when knowing good and plenty you are the cause of what's going on right now not only are you the cause but you brought the other person to literally clarify that you are the cause of it why why? And my she brought this to your attention that she wants you to do something with your mouth. Okay? And you refused to. You, you did nothing. He did nothing. If somebody brought, brought to your attention something that is not sitting right with them. Okay? And they're, they're literally telling you this. Okay? Then that's obviously a problem. And nobody really should have to sit with somebody else's problem i'm just saying okay listen here if i'm telling you i got a problem and you don't fix that problem so i'm just gonna have to remove myself from the situation and let you stick with your problem since you don't find anything wrong with it i am the one that got a problem with your situation so i am leaving don't call me don't contact me and don't ask me why am i leaving because you know you know Okay, but you make it worse by either bringing me in, in, into a crowd full of people or a crowd full of your friends and family, or you call the radio. You read into the radio to help. What? Why, why read into the radio? What, what was the purpose of doing that? It sure as hell wasn't going to help you. It helped me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it helped me. I clarified everything, and now everybody knows what is going on. All right. You, you put your personal business out there and then now people go look at you crazy and then you're going to blame me. Don't blame me. You did that to yourself. You brought me here. Anyway, this is the reaction today from 102.7 Blown Off. Thank you very much and I will see you later.